talk about um, you know, some of those social barriers, those cultural barriers that black women face are breastfeeding. Yeah. The first one would be the stigma that black women face when they make the decision to do anything that's natural. It's interesting that when you say, I want to have a natural birth, you talk to people who say, oh, girl, no, you need to have an epidural, you need to have it in the hospital. And what I've encountered a lot, I teach at the um, Linwood Women's Correctional Facility um, to a lot of their preg uh, a lot of their pregnant or early parenting parents, uh, uh, to the moms who have either just had a baby or are pregnant while they're incarcerated. And then I also teach at the uh, group home in South LA for women who are formerly incarcerated and are part of the um, diversion program and reentry program, so that they can assimilate back into society um, even while they're on parole, just so they don't have to have their baby while they're incarcerated. And what I've encountered a lot with those women is that they're being encouraged to have C-sections. And when I ask them if, why they're choosing to have a C-section or if the doctor's telling them to do it, oftentimes they tell me that the doctor's telling them or the baby is going to be too big or they don't think they're going to be able to have a natural delivery. And I do believe there's a connection between having a C-section and there are actually studies that show that there's a connection between having a C-section and having a challenge when you decide to, to nurse. And so the problem starts before the baby is even born with the stigma that follow women in our communities who are underserved or underrepresented in the medical field or have just personal challenges, whether they are trying to reassimilate into society or they're low income or they're a single, single mom and they go into the doctor's office and the doctor doesn't want to spend the time to actually answer all of those questions. And we have a tendency to sort of give up on ourselves before we even try. And also we know that children, as children model the behavior of their parents, adults tend to model the behavior of our parents that we saw. So my mother didn't nurse me. She was a single mother. She had me at 19. She had to get right back to work. I stayed with my grandmother. And I never saw really anybody in my family nursing. So when I decided to nurse my children, um, starting with my first one, I didn't have a lot of support because my family didn't know how to support me. So that becomes another challenge in our community where it's passed down from generation to generation. You start to do what your family did, what your parents did, and if they weren't big on nursing or if they weren't big on anything natural when it came to childbirth, then you sort of fall into that, especially when we are barren with resources sometimes in our communities. And the women that I teach at the clinic, when I encourage them and try to empower them to know, like, you can do this, it is the most natural thing that a woman's body can do. And as natural as it is for other mammals to nurse, it is that natural for us to nurse. But because society places you know, their expectations on you, you sometimes will hold back and say, well, it, it's too hard. And the truth is, it is hard. Nursing takes a lot of your time. And if we are honest with that from the beginning, we can sort of prepare ourselves mentally because as much as nursing is physical, there's a huge mental component. You're stressed out when you are literally stressing about the thing you're trying to do. What I noticed when I was nursing my children, I had the hardest time with my first son because it was he was my trial baby. I didn't know how it was going to work out, and I was crying, and he was crying, and finally my husband was like, you know what, this is not what's important to we're going to all get some sleep, and then we're going to try again tomorrow. So I really did relate to MJ because we sort of had that same hiccup. And then I got some support, but I realized that the support systems in my community didn't look like me. We were on the west side, and a lot of the places that I went to, like the, the, um, the pump station in Santa Monica, the people didn't really connect with me the way I hope somebody would connect with me. And that's why what we do at the clinic in Inglewood is really important for our community. It's so important for people to see someone who looks like us doing what we want to do and not being judged because it's not perfect. Perfect, and I think that's another challenge that women in particular face when it comes to nursing. 